Hi kids! Hi, Hi Professor Tyrell. I'm standing here today in front of one of BC's largest forms of transportation, the SkyTrain. Each day over 200,000 people board the SkyTrain to commute to their desired destinations. Let's take a look at the SkyTrain. Wow, that was pretty cool. And look who's here, my kid sister Angela. Hey, so when did the SkyTrain start? The SkyTrain started in 1985, just in time for the Expo 86 World's Fair. Hey, is that why they call it the Expo Line? <laughs> yes, the first SkyTrain line is called the Expo Line. A second line was added in 2002 and is called the Millennium Line. Millennium Line, that's pretty cool. Um, What's this I hear about them building another line? Yes, currently they are working on another line that should be ready in, by 2010 when Vancouver will play host to the Olympics. Well, what's that line going to be called? The Canada Line. Hmm, neat. How long are these SkyTrain tracks anyway? The SkyTrain tracks are 49.5 kilometers in length, which if we're to imagine is just over 450 football fields in length. Holy crap, that's huge! Well, okay, so there's the SkyTrain. What other forms of transportation do people use? Well, why don't we take a look? Whoa, there's so many different types of vehicles out there. Cars, trucks, SUVs, and they're all different shapes and sizes. There sure are. Hey, why don't we take a look at the different forms of transportation? Let's see how many we can name. Cool. There are so many different means of transportation, but there are also those that don't require the use of gas or engines. There's the bicycle, rollerblades and roller skates, skis and snowboards. Up north they use dog sleds and snowshoes, and sometimes we use horses, ponies, and I guess sometimes donkeys. One of my favorite forms of transportation is the bicycle. The bicycle was first introduced in 19th century Europe. Since then, its popularity has grown quite a bit. Bicycles now number in approximately one billion worldwide, and in some countries like China and the Netherlands, they are the principal means of transportation. A good thing to always remember when going out bike riding is always wear a helmet. Helmets help us in case we get into an accident to help prevent injuries or damage to our heads. Not only are bicycles a cool means of transportation, they also help us get exercise. Other ways I like to get exercise as well as to get to the places I need to go are walking and jogging. Walking and jogging use our legs to their highest potential and get our heart rates going. Oh, did you hear that? 
I think it's about time we head over to the crafts table for today's craft. Come on. Ahoy there, kids. I'm dressed like this today because for today's craft, we're going to be making one of my favorite forms of transportation, a sailboat. Now for today's craft, we'll need a milk carton, which can be any size as long as it's rinsed out because we don't want any stinky boats polluting up our ocean, uh, a straw, scissors, construction paper, a pen, and some tape. Now sailboats have been around for thousands of years. Animal skins were used to make sails many thousands of years ago. The Egyptians were the first recorded people to make sails out of cloth as far back as 3300 BC. Sailboats have been used for all kinds of things throughout history. Mainly though, they were used for transportation and war. Today, sailboating is more of a hobby for most people. All right, let's get started on that craft. Okay, first we will take our milk carton Okay, now we take some tape, and we want to tape the spout part of it shut, like that. Next, we will take our pen, and we might want to get our parents' help on this one, is we want to take the pen and puncture a little hole in there. Then we want to push the pen in a little further, a little further, until it's all the way in but not through the bottom here. We're going to take the pen out, and we can set that aside for a second. Now what we want to do is we want to take your straw, and it might be best to uh, stick two straws together with some tape. Just so that we can make sure that it will fill that hole up for us. We want to tape it on both ends so that it doesn't like split apart. Okay, so now we've got the two straws stuck together here. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our construction paper and we're going to want to fold it like so, like this, and fold it back. 